Welcome to Coffee and Books channel, in this video we are going to present the summary of, Daddy Long Legs by Jean Webster. In an orphanage called the John Greer Home, Jerusha Abbott calls the first Monday of every month a perfectly awful day due to orphanage's trustee's monthly visit, and how she bears the load of the preparations. After the visit, Mrs. Lippett the home's matron calls for Jerusha in her office. On her way there, she glimpses one of the trustee's long and spidery shadow cast by the headlights of his awaiting car. Mrs. Lippett hands her a letter from the trustee she just saw leaving the home. Impressed by her amusing essays about life at the orphanage, the trustee will be sending her to a local college with all expenses paid, with the intention that she educate herself to become a writer as she aspires to. The only condition is that Jerusha must write to him reporting her progress and impressions of the college, and that he will remain anonymous, only to be addressed as Mr. Smith. Her letters will never be answered. Happy with this development in her life, Jerusha arrives at the college, and begins to pen her first letter. She complains regarding her benefactor's alias, why couldn't he have picked out a name with a little personality? As she knows that his true name isn't Mr. Smith, after musing over what she'll call her mysterious benefactor, she finally decides on Daddy Long Legs due to his tall figure and she imagined him to be old and gray. Jerusha writes about her lessons from her freshman year classes, and describes her anxiety over trying to fit in with the other girls at her college due to her growing up in an orphanage. She then writes about her embarrassment at her lack of education and her excitement about learning. During the Christmas vacation, Jerusha stays behind in the college to catch up on her reading, and sends her love to Daddy Long Legs in her loneliness. Jerusha flunks two of her first exams and she was in shock. She becomes ill and writes angrily to Daddy Long Legs, accusing him of not caring for her and simply supporting her merely out of charity. Moved by this, Daddy Long Legs sends her a bouquet of flowers to cheer her up. Jerusha has made some friends at her new college, Sally and Julia Pendleton who happens to be Jerusha's least favorite friend. One day they got a visit from Julia's uncle Jervis, after meeting Jervis. Jerusha is immediately drawn to him as they got along well and seem to have the same ideas and views. Despite this, Jerusha become more and more curious regarding her old and gray daddy long legs. The summer arrives, and Jerusha begs daddy long legs not to send her back to the John Greer home, as she has nowhere to go to. Daddy long legs decides to send her to Lock Willow Farm, where she enjoys her time there with her new hosts and the animals that live on the farm. She explores her talent as a writer by trying to write her own novel with her own protagonist. She discovered by a woman who lives on the farm that Jervis grew up there as a young boy, she was surprised by this coincidence. Jerusha then proclaims that she finally knows what the secret of happiness is, and that is to live in the present, just living every moment at a time. Jerusha expresses her longing to finally see her daddy long legs. Upon returning to the college for her sophomore year, Jerusha continues her studies and her writing as well as become socially involved with the family of her friend Sally McBride by spending some vacation at her home with her friend Sally's family. One day Jervis invited Jerusha, Julia, and Sally for a long cultural weekend, Jerusha had a great time once again with Jervis. The summer arrives again, and Jerusha sends a letter to Daddy Longlegs asking him for permission to spend her vacation at the McBride's country home. But he insists that she spend the summer at Lock Willow Farm instead. Feeling alone and trapped, Jerusha writes an angry letter in response to his domineering nature and finds it hard to forgive Mr. Smith. Jervis visits Jerusha in Lock Willow, the farm where he grew up as a boy. The couple enjoy the countryside together and find themselves growing more and more attached to one another. Jerusha receives an invitation from Sally to join her family at Camp McBride, and another from Jervis to meet him at Lock Willow. Despite Mr. Smith's refusal, Jerusha proceeds to Camp McBride due to some negative remarks she received from Jervis when he found out she turned down an invitation to Paris from Julia to work as a teacher in French and algebra to support herself. After four years Jerusha completes her studies and invites Mr. Smith to her graduation ceremony to finally meet him. Jervis does attend the ceremony as Julia's guest. In Lock Willow, Jerusha writes to Mr. Smith that she will never think of him again after his absence at her graduation ceremony. After a few months, she writes that her first novel has been accepted by a publisher, and enclosed a check of $1,000 as a first installment of her repayment of her college fees. She then tells that she will continue to repay her debt to him and give him all the money he spent on her education, and all future royalties will proceed to the John Greer home, making her a trustee and therefore meeting him at last. Daddy Long Legs is overwhelmed by this gesture and overjoyed over her success as a writer. Jervis visits Jerusha in Lock Willow to ask her hand in marriage, she turns him down thinking that he and his family might feel indifferent towards her. In her final letter, Jerusha declares her love for Jervis to Daddy Long Legs, and appeals for a personal meeting with him. After he agrees, 
Jerusha finally arrives at their meeting place, and is surprised to see Jervis instead of Daddy Long Legs, Jervis finally reveals to her that he is Mr. Smith or Daddy Long Legs. Distressed over this revelation, as well as realizing that he has read her private letters about him, Jerusha accuses him of playing with her feelings and the mere fact that he didn't even write back over the course of four years. At last, he declares his love for Jerusha, which she reciprocates. Jerusha finally understands the grand scheme of things that led her to where she is now and she feels happy to be with Daddy Longlegs at last. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more.